All right, we're on our way out to Slab City, otherwise known as the city with no laws. This is the only place in the United States where supposedly there is no laws. They don't have electricity, they don't have water. Basically, it was a military base and they shut it down in the 50s and took all the buildings and cleaned everything off and just left the concrete slab. And I guess a bunch of squatters just settle there because it's free to live there and there's no laws. No rules. No yeah. rules, yeah. I feel like you're gonna love it, Mike. Yeah, I'm gonna make friends with all the homeless people. <laughs> we might end up leaving Micah there. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Donna Delore. Oh, right on. Sweet. Well, good luck. Thank you. You too. Us creators got to support each other. All right, so from my understanding, the deeper you go into here, the more kind of sketchy and weirder it's going to get. We're going to hop on the pitters and the e-bikes and explore, I guess. I think they're trying to get people to break down here so they can rob us. Look, literally just piles oh, and yeah, nails and nails. screws everywhere. Okay, actually, Evan? That was a really good point. Imagine when you show up to the city with no laws and they go, whoa, whoa, you can't ride pit bikes here. <laughs> Just like everywhere else in the world. All right, where to? I really hope our shit doesn't get looted. Yeah, people are staring They're eyeballing that shit. That shit. I almost wish we would've just parked back there. I know. Should we just have them move it? All right, we're getting a little bad vibes. When we're unloading, we could already see people just like watching us. And then when we started leaving, they started walking this way. So I think we're gonna move it out the road a little bit. This is a straight up skate park. What's going on? These look pretty fucking cool and I used to ride a lot. Oh, what'd you ride? All sorts of things. Would we be able to take the pitters in here or no? Yeah. Do you think it would break it? You guys wouldn't mind? No, just slabs, bro. Do whatever you want. I saw these and I was like, wanted to see if I could fucking bother one of y'all to let me ride. Yeah? You wanna ride? Fuck yeah. Three up or four up? Oh, four. Okay, it's like, oh, there's no clutch. Okay, just automatic. That was the last time I ever saw my pit bike. <laughs> Watch that thing ride off into the sunset. It's not coming back. Oh, he's going pretty damn far. Yeah, maybe maybe go follow him. If, if someone come with me. <laughs> Get my heart going a little bit though when he grabbed third gear and he took off. <laughs> He gave us the go ahead to ride the pitters in here. <laughs> Who spray paints that? It's like they put the landing at the wrong angle. <laughs> Where's your bike? It's a good question. Thank you all. Yeah, yeah, you oh, bet. Absolutely, bro. Oh, yeah. oh 
Oh, Mike! This piss truck? What could that be? What is that? Dr. Spencer William Brown, acupuncturist, herbalist, and sex therapist. Let's send Big Ken. He needs all three. Big hey, Ken. See ya. Is this a dabbing Jesus? <laughs> okay, let's maybe. Uh, no creepy. Don't. This is uh, yeah, a. Dumbass. Dumbass. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. That dog was eyeing up my tire. I got a bike. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Like a you want to see the hobbit hole? The hobbit hole? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean, this is sweet. Did you put all of this together yourself? Well, I had to get in here and clean all the bushes and all the garbage. But stuff. you built all this? Yeah. Out here, people say, oh, it's dangerous. I'm happy here. I just need transportation. Okay. This put me in poverty for How much you buy this for? $500. $500? Yep. Holy smokes. I know, I got got did a. Well, thank you for your time. So now I gotta know something about you guys now. Let's welcome walk, see my place. This is my backyard. Very nice. Hey, so. well, I want to donate to your uh, dog park. So here's oh, here's that, and I, I hope that you can that helps and you can it will. get some awesome, supplies man. to do I that. Hug. Hell yeah, hug. I'm 61 year old lady. Hell yeah, I will hug. Y'all stay stay well. We will. Stay well and stay thank young you. and happy. Thank you. That's the goal, happy. dude. That was really nice. That was amazing. The camera didn't see it, but we were there for like an hour and she was just telling me about all these plans, about how she wants to make like a dog park and, and you know, she's just had a hard life. I feel bad for her. Like everyone so far has just been really nice. So when we were talking to Darla, I asked her, what do people do around here to make money? And she mentioned that they mostly do like little odd end jobs, like people would do like fence work or deliver the water or sewer remover. So like different little odd end jobs and the community basically just like sustains itself. Yeah. What? Bike shop. I bet this is where Darla got her little chopper. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I think they're closed. No one's here. I think this is where Darla bought her bike from. Honestly, fuck this guy. He ripped her off. <laughs> Five hundred bucks for that piece of shit. Yeah. What the fuck? Also, come on, Darla. What you are you gotta doing? at least help her. <laughs> Get your ass it, ripped off. No. No. <laughs> ah. What the? Yo. How would they get an airplane in here? Dude. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> bigger than I was expecting. Yeah, it was a full on town. Everyone was super talkative, really. I mean, a few people you saw lurking maybe in the background, but otherwise they yeah. seemed to just like wave and invite you in. Oh. We didn't want to 
want to just ruin one e-bike with rust. We got to get two of them. Oh, we're going to have to wash this off, dude. This isn't any Mars. Thanks to Go Go Rental for renting out these uh, e-bikes. They actually have been super useful this whole trip. We've been using them to get around. Obviously, the RV is so freaking huge. And the pit bikes are extremely illegal in this neck of the woods. All right, let's hit it. Go. Okay. Not our bikes. We're trying to do the buzz tires thing. You see this all the time with the kids. Don't do that. <laughs> Jesus. We're in hot pursuit. Red bike. All right, we're on our way to go link up with Buttery Films. We're gonna hopefully run a podcast and do some riding with them. Pretty cool because we've been following this guy for like probably five years now so we'll finally get to meet him and uh he seems like a chill dude so it should be a good time dude i'm freaking stoked i'm a big right. fan of buttery i wanted to go like urban pit bike riding with him for so long like that's on my bucket list so I'm CJ. Oh. i could hear you from a couple blocks back just <laughs> wop, wop, screaming. Oh, was bad. we barely made it up the hill evan <laughs> those are for like jumping stilts are they? Are they? Are these like pogo sticks? I think they're just dry. I thought they were for drywall. Have you rocked them? No, I've never. I'll fucking try them out then. Can you get one? Okay, wait. <laughs> oh! Jeez. They actually flex pretty damn good, dude. <laughs> dude, you're slick. You're like a gazelle. Oh, now I got it. Definitely what it feels like to be on the moon. I don't know how to get down, to be honest. You might be stuck up for the day. You're sweating. Yeah, I mean, I think they were a little easier than I thought, but also a lot of work. All right, I think we're gonna hop on a podcast with Buttery, and then once we finish that up, we might go rip some pit bikes. We ready? Have you ever been in a fight then? Many. Many fights. Yeah. Not that I want to be. You just had to. You dropped out yeah. of high school. Yeah. Long story short, got all drunk, and I lost my whole deal. And like, dude, I was banking on this Damn. Because then if you get caught, from fleeing, now you're talking about like actual jail time. So if you're running, you're gone. All right, we just ripped the pod with buttery. Go and check that out. Now, I think we're gonna go and try and rip some pit bikes. But first we gotta get this freaking RV out of here. We scraped it the whole way up. Going up's one thing, but reversing down this is gonna be another. I have a feeling the rear end of our trailer is gonna be slightly uh, thinner. It's definitely gonna make a lot of bad noises. I got it. I can't walk. Oh, you got her. That hurt. It's like nails on a chalkboard. Let's go! Yes, sir. Let's, let's go. go. What happened? The wiring harness off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We only got to go all the way back home. We should have probably unplugged that. I mean, it was kind of one of those things. That, like, you couldn't have gone perfectly. It's collateral damage. Hey, ready for the ditches? Let's do it. Urban pit bike in California. Buttery style. Big Ken style. Big Ken's on the bike, too. Clean. No, Evan's got it. Come on, Ev. Oh! Heel <laughs> tapper! Yes. Hell yeah! Oh, holy, hey. that's a butthole pucker right there. That's tight. <laughs> Look, I know I'm top five. This won't make the block ride. Caught him on the back street. Gotta tell him bye bye. They don't want no beef. No, this isn't five guys. Yeah, I'm coming for the chicken. I ain't talking pie pies. White girls, black girls. We don't do a part time. I was working part time. Just a light skin boy 
coming from the dark side Always talking that real, go and check the archives Ay, Get it how you living And why on the fitted, you be telling them who did it I be going crazy with it, I should be committed I know that they jacking me, they never gonna admit it Alright, we're gonna start a new sport today This is called pit bike hill climbing Took out the cameraman. Yeah. Oh. Sam, this is that diet I've been telling you about. It help here. I think Evan won that one. But an honorable mention to Pit Bike Mike. He had a lot of heart out there. Thank you for yeah, showing us around. Yeah, seriously, yeah. we appreciate it. Thank you, I appreciate it. So you gotta come out to Minnesota. Let's get it. I'm down. Right on, boys. Safe travels. Right, right. See you later. See you, dude. All right. I think that's pretty much it for our road trip. We got Ryan, Micah, and Evan heading up to uh, Jackson Hole. They're gonna film some snowmobile hill climbs, so be ready for that. Otherwise, we're going back home, Ben, Ken, and I. I don't know if we'll be doing any more RV trips for a while, though. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit rv out. Yeah. Look, I know I'm top five. This gonna make the block ride. Caught them on the back street. Gotta tell them bye. Yeah. Get this rig. They have so much shit, they have to hang it off the outside. Been out of that thing for 67 years now. 